So we know that at least 10 to 15 percent of all the adult refugees around the world uh, suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder. It's only one kind of disorder. And we know that among children and youth, it's even higher, maybe somewhere between 20 and even 50 percent, depending on where people come from. That's a huge burden of a mental health problem. I don't think that we are sufficiently equipped yet to, to deal with that. It's important that we develop resources quickly and effectively. We do screen people uh, before they, they come here. We screen them for, for different things. I don't want us to get into a situation where we screen people for the presence of post-traumatic stress disorder and say, okay, you're not eligible because of your, your problems. It would certainly be illegal. Um, we don't define uh, refugee on the basis of good, being in good health. Refugees are people who need to, to be helped, need to be protected. People who are outside of their usual place of residence and have a, a well-founded fear of persecution. That's it. That's the criterion. And we should not let any of these other factors come into our judgment about it. But once having accepted refugees, we have a responsibility to them to help protect their health. And we have, it's good for us in the long run too, because if we want them to become us, which we do, we want them to become citizens, we want them to become integrated into Canadian society, we need to help them make that leap from troubled to relative, relative equanimity.